we went to Antarctica uh, to try and be the first to swim a mile south of the Antarctic Circle. And that's it, one of the most fascinating stories or experiences of my life. Um, we didn't get the geographic goal just because we don't have our own ship. So we had to be paying passengers on an ocean liner and... Mm. Uh, <laughs> this thing just keeps moving and they don't change the schedule for anybody. Right. And they literally go up the coast of, uh, or down the coast of Antarctica and uh, they go in south of the circle and then 48 hours later they turn around and come back. So if the weather isn't good in those 48 hours, if it's unswimmable, which um, uh, you, you're going to miss that goal. Now, I before I went, I knew Antarctica from what I've seen on Nat Geo and, and Discovery Channel. <laughs> it's a beautiful flat water with a whale frolicking in the distance and you know, some you know, ice over there and blue skies. That's not what we experienced. It was just brutal and wild and, and hectic and uh, very, very, very daunting. Um, and even though we missed the geographic goal, we still made the mile attempt after seven days of being on standby. Um, we, we got them to give us a go. And uh, the water that I did it in was minus one degree Celsius. So that is, um, man, I wish I could remember my conversions better. That's 30 degrees Fahrenheit. 30 degrees 30. Fahrenheit. So, so salt water freezes below 32. 32. Yeah. Okay. 32 is when water freezes. So you're swimming through ice. So, yeah, but it's salt water, so it actually doesn't, it's okay. still liquid, but there's plenty <laughs> ice floating in it and icebergs. and. Um, and then you get the added little bonus of something called a leopard seal. Don't know if you know what that is. <laughs> yeah. That is a, just an insane beast. Um, and when you get to Antarctica, they're absolutely prolific. So they're all over the place and they're, they're huge, like dinosaur looking things. Do they, do they mess with you? They, n yes and no. So they, they've been responsible for a couple of deaths, but they're not, they're kind of like your great white shark scenario. You know, he's not a man eater, but he wants to see what you are and he kills you by mistake. And sorry, he didn't mean to. These guys, I think, are really inquisitive. So sometimes the people who have died at their hands or mouths have been, they've been inquisitive and pulled them under the water and not let them back up as they want to play or whatever they're, they're doing. I don't think they're malicious, but they're deadly. Absolutely. What about polar bears? Uh, that's, that's, you don't find that in Antarctica, they're in the north. Oh. Yeah. yeah. So they're, they're penguins and... <laughs> Idiot like me like doesn't me. know that. <laughs> no, I, I didn't know that until I got there. Well, listen, when, you know, the crew of the ship were meant to help us and they expected us to, to arrive with some cage apparatus to swim in mm. for the leopard seals. Oh, really? And I didn't even know leopard seals existed until I got there. That's how bad I was. So don't feel bad about the polar bears. Um, a cage apparatus yeah. to, to, to protect yeah. you from well, the leopard. A lot of people swim in, in cages. So the false base swim that I did in, in South Africa, which yeah. is the great white uh, feeding <laughs> ground, um, I, uh, th there are a few people who have attempted it in a cage because you, 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 sharks attack from the bottom. So you've got kind of this u shape cage. And if you can picture it with an outboard engine on that, that, uh, that you swim inside. And it drags it behind the boat or something? Uh, it's, got, it's actually got its own transom. And, a, and a, I mean, there are lots of different makeups, but picture almost like two canoes and a transom between them at the back. And underneath each canoe, there's, there's sort of a, a cage that goes down and then a flat cage and coming up at the other canoe. No way. So you swim between the two canoes, but below you, there's metal bars. That's insane. Yeah. I had no idea that was a thing. Yeah, I've, ne I've never done that. I did do a swim with, with a guy once, um, and he was in the cage, but there's no room for me. So I was on the outside. <laughs> and I oh, thought that really? was so rude. It was freaked me <laughs> out. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, bud. We don't have enough room for you. Yeah, <laughs> like, you're on the outside, mate. <laughs> uh, wow. But, but I've got no experience with that. And, and, and in fact, I haven't heard of anyone swimming with, with a cage for, for many years. Mm. But some of the crew kind of couldn't believe, A, we were going to swim in that water without <laughs> wetsuits, and B, that we were going to swim in that water with the leopard seals. And, and true to form, obviously, when we did eventually get to make our, our attempt, and this, by the way, is a, is a very long extended uh, story, which I'm cutting very short, the... Um, a leopard seal did come along to, to try and have a look at us and they went with a zodiac and they circled around it. A oh, little really? Bit. Yeah. Got some great video footage of that and eventually, luckily, it decided to go the other route.